What's up guys, CP Modder here, back with another video, and today we're here with something that not exactly many of us actually buy anymore, but still is really handy to have around, and most of us have at least one around, and that is a DVD drive. And for today, we're taking a look at the ASUS DRW24D5MT, or as I'm going to refer to it today, the ASUS DRW. And yep, it's a DVD drive. No one really buys it, it's for a desktop PC, it's like 5 and a quarter inch, but why would you ever consider buying it, especially in today's market? Now, usually the following statement that comes after my question when I make one of these videos is some sort of reason as to why you should go ahead and buy it, but this particular unit begs the question of even why on earth would you consider it? and makes me wonder why I even bought it, which is kind of interesting. And before you go ahead and get your pitchforks out, yes, CDs are definitely still valuable. DVDs are extremely valuable. For me, I really do like the idea of just owning my media, paying for it once and owning it. Sure, I do like the whole Netflix idea and being able to subscribe and get all the stuff without having to pay all that money, but at the end of the day, they can control everything and it isn't so great there. So. I definitely do see the value there, and obviously having something to read that is definitely really, really important. However, this particular unit, the price that it comes in at, and what we are going to find out here today, isn't really so much of a great value. For a bit more than the 35 Australian dollars that we paid for this guy, we could go ahead and step up a little bit more and get ourselves a Blu-ray drive, and or a drive that has more features, or for the same price, I could just get an external unit. So. What exactly do we get for our 35 Australian dollars? And well, it's kind of interesting. Now, this is branded as a green DVD writer, thanks to the fact that it automatically closes applications when not in use to save power, much like what WD did with their green kind of line of drives, even though into the future we're not really worrying about that much there. Basically, the CD drive will spin down and save power. Cool, I guess, if you want to worry about that. It has support for things like MDisk, the technology that supposedly allows you to store your data for thousands of years, although thousands of years haven't passed yet, so we don't know whether that statement's true or not yet. Um, but either way, in a thousand years' time, we won't have a reader to read these things anyway, and we'll become much like the floppy disks. And it also, too, has support for things like disk encryption, which you kind of expect and being able to read and write and that type of thing. Now, ASUS themselves also, too, sees the fact that no one's really buying CD drives, let alone this particular unit, and they are also, too, bundling six months of unlimited cloud storage with the thing, though I'm not sure why you would want or need six months of cloud storage because it plays DVDs and yeah, I don't really know. Maybe you want to back up something completely irrelevant. Well, you get six months of cloud storage there. Honestly, I would have just bought Backblaze for like years for the same price I'm paying for this particular guy. So I guess let's throw it in our PC and oh, oh, uh, whoops. Well, my desktop PC doesn't have a CD drive. Let's throw it in my ser- oh, my server also doesn't have a CD drive. Um, I'm just going to put it on the top of my PC and pretend it's inside of the case. So, um, a lot of PCs these days just don't have five and a quarter inch drive bays. Don't get me wrong, there are still units out there that do have them, and thumbs up if you have a unit there. But uh, all in all, a lot of more modern designs don't have one, so it's a little bit of a weird thing. Either way, when I plugged it in and got to use it, man, how I have not missed the racket that these things make. Uh, but putting a DVD in, well, yep, it played and it worked just about as I would expect. But again, made me wonder why I would pay this kind of money for this kind of functionality. For the same price, I could have gotten an external drive, one that was slimmer, runs USB-C even, or just USB if you wanted that model, and basically was compatible with all of my devices. Whereas this one needs to have SATA power and needs SATA data, and uh, you're kind of limited in the form factor that you can run right here. Sure, there's definitely still a need for these CD drives, and it was great to just play CDs on my desktop, something I've been done for years and years and years, and that's kind of it. It's not really sort of standing out that too much. And I guess to answer the question, if you are looking at this video wondering, should I go ahead and buy one? Well, the TLDR is pretty simple. It plays CDs, it plays DVDs, it burns M-Disc if you want that, and really just gets the job done. It's a CD drive in 2019. It's not really that special. It comes with a couple extra things like six months of unlimited cloud storage, or I guess if you look at this part of the website, 12 months. Either way, you get some free cloud storage and does the job. However, that being said, 
I personally wouldn't spend the money on this as you could spend the same 35 Australian dollars buying an external drive and have some cash left over, or you could spend a little bit more and get yourself a Blu-ray drive to support the higher end Blu-ray standards. So it is a really hard one to recommend. Or you could just save a ton of money, go on eBay, buy like 10 of them for $10, and basically go down that road if you did really want to. Don't get me wrong, it was pretty cool. I mean, I never really grew up in the CD era of actually building computers. Sure, I had a computer back when CDs were much more popular than they are today, but I wasn't actively building one. So it's definitely a cool experience for someone of a younger generation in tech to sort of get a CD drive and plug it into a computer and use it for the first time. But honestly, I probably would just save my money and buy a used one on eBay or buy a more expensive one to get higher end features. But guys, let me know down in that comment section, do you have a CD drive in your system or do you just basically download everything? Do let me know down below. Guys, thanks all for watching. If you want to grab one, I'll leave it linked down in that description box. And thanks all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.